couple days ago, Jay, and now we are literally, there's snow on the ground in Utah. So uh, we are officially in Utah and it's uh, definitely very different. Uh, no, it's super just, different. I'm excited to see everything we can see. Oh yeah, well we got Yellowstone coming up tomorrow. Stopping off at Sequest here. Uh, my friends over there are gonna be doing some cool stuff at the aquarium today. So uh, looking forward to that, but for now, this is crazy out here. So when we move it, Moving out here? Yeah, when we move. Noah's uh, like me, he loves the West. I definitely love it out here. I'm ready to move, let's go. Reptarium, woo! Reptarium 6.0. 67, 38.0. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped off to get some gas somewhere in Utah and uh, we found winter. It's so crazy, you know what I mean? It's 88 degrees a couple days ago, sweating in Phoenix. Now we're literally got snowfall and uh, it's crazy wild, but it is beautiful. Mountains in the background over here. Got about three hours to go till we hit Salt Lake City. Oh, and uh, I found some beavers too. Uh, yeah, it's crazy what you can find down the road. Hey, Bea hey, Mr. Beaver. Oh, what's up? It's snowing. I got a lunch bowl that'll keep me warm. <laughs> this is crazier one, man. It's awesome. First snow I've seen in a long time. I know, first snow since last year. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it's beautiful though. Super. Hey guys, what's going on? What yeah, up, what, what up, up, dude? You guys know I like jerky. What do you think? Oh, what is that? What the heck? Is that a lamb? Did you just skin a lamb? Is that a wild cougar? There's some jerky for you guys. Woo! That's, that's, heavy, that's heavy, man. <laughs> I know, did you hear that thump? Yeah, that was a thump. <laughs> Jesus, looks like <laughs> Granny's back hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And we made it to Salt Lake City, Utah here. We've got Sequest right over here. We're about to go in and go check it out. The mountains are absolutely breathtaking. It's so crazy that we are now in winter. And for the next few days, it's gonna be cold, guys. Tomorrow when we're in Yellowstone, I think it's supposed to be a high of 20 degrees, but I've never been to Yellowstone, always wanted to go, so it's gonna be amazing. What do you say we just head into Sequest and see what we got going on? Again, this is the place that inspired me a lot with the Reptarium 2.0, so I'm looking forward to see what else they have. Oh, and by the way, they have a sloth and I'm missing Drogo pretty bad so I'm gonna be excited to see their sloth and we're here thing that has changed a lot has changed here since I've been here but they certainly didn't have pigs before so now they've got pigs and I absolutely love pigs if I ever had enough space I would certainly have pigs Lori probably wouldn't be too happy about it but they are so cool super intelligent animals make really good pets of course they are big they are a little dirty but they are absolutely awesome Now we get into some of the reptile stuff that I always like. This is actually a tortoise that actually gets run in the place. The last time he was here, he was just running around. He's just over here, he's got the gate. I know you guys uh, that are talking to me about the gate for Matilda. Yeah, this is kind of where the idea came from. That way she could just walk around and this guy just cruises around and stuff like that. Got a bunch of really cool other animals in here. Bearded dragons over here. Of course, we've got some snakes with reticulated pythons, all that stuff. So it's kind of a cool little thing, Savannah monitor over here. Oh, and let's take a look at this. This oh looks pretty cool. Goodness. <laughs> Isn't this thing cool? Look at that. Isn't this this is thing Rose, the three-banded armadillo. Three-banded oh. armadillo. <laughs> and what's interesting, you guys might be surprised about this, but believe it or not, a close relative to the armadillo is a sloth. That's right, a lot of people wouldn't think that, but believe it or not, sloths and armadillos are in the same family, which is pretty wild, but that thing is so cute. And of course, we have Apollo, the reticulated python. I tell you what, sometimes normal reticulated pythons are some of the most gorgeous animals. I mean, just that normal wild type can be really beautiful. Again, Apollo is, you know, I don't know, probably 10, 12 foot, something like that. You guys know that it's gonna eventually get, you know, 18 to 20 foot, can be a really giant snake, but it's really well behaved, and much like all of my 
Kyrie takes back at the Rift Era. He's always on the go and always moving around. But this guy is absolutely incredible. Love this steak. We have another Burmese pipe that I named Tiny, actually, but it's just coming out of shed. So we get an opportunity to play with the retick instead, which is always absolutely incredible. And this snake is beautiful. I tell you, absolutely stunning. It's, it's just cool. I get so excited that they can play with snakes again. After a couple days of not having snakes, I was starting to go through withdrawal. The other thing that changed it, that this used to be where their caiman were, and this actually was higher up like this. Now you can actually get in. There's turtles right here, ducks over here. I think this is another really cool kind of interactive. You can see you can feed ducks over here. Oh, oh my God. That is awesome. And again, you guys know that I want to do more aquatic stuff as we expand. And so there's a lot of ideas when I come to places like this. And it's cool to see it continually involved. As a matter of fact, you remember I met the otter a couple days ago. There's a couple otters over here we got to go check out. We've got the little bangle cats, which are something new here as well. They're so cute. I know Noah's going to love this, right? Yeah. Look at that one. Oh my that God! So yeah, there's a big guy here. He's the lazy one. Of oh. course, he just enjoys his time sleeping. He's the one I relate to most, right? Oh my God! That is so cool. Dude. These guys are so. Hi, little buddy. Unbelievably beautiful. I mean, they're such a cool kitty cat. There's no doubt about that. Oh my gosh! Unbelievably cute. I think these fish know when they're getting fed, right? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you put your hand by them, they're like, "Hey, guys, go." Oh my God, it's beautiful. Got some silky chickens here. Come on, little bud. There you go. There you go. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow, look at the size of this leopard gecko right here. This thing is a beast. I mean, that is a giant leopard gecko. I love it. It's gotta be like 125 to 150 grams. Most leopard geckos barely hit 90 grams, so that is one big leopard gecko and pretty awesome. So, you know what you call a snake with its freshly shedded skin? What do you call it? Snaked. Snaked. So we actually have an African killed porcupine here. These guys are actually really cool. A lot of people think that they're really nasty animals, but the truth is they're really quite amazing. I love them to death. And again, they don't actually throw these quills, right? What happens is they back up into you, they'll actually poke you with the quills, but they don't like throw them at you like a lot of people think. This thing is absolutely amazing. I tell you what, I love African porcupines. I love the prehensile tail ones as well. So cool. Look at how majestic that animal is. Come here, bud. Come up and say hi to this guy up here. Come, Come on, on up, bud. bud. Come on, bud. There you there go. You go. Good boy. Who's a good boy? There you go. You go ahead and pet him. He's just the biggest sweetheart we have oh, here. He's such a good boy. What's his name again? This is Quilliam. Quilliam, of course. What's up? I don't have him yet, but I will get you something. There you go, yum, bud. Yum, snacks, bud, right? Yum, yum. Thank you. Thank you, Quilliam. <laughs> this guy here is just like absolutely the biggest sweetheart. He is insanely intelligent. He's only 10 months old, believe it or not. 10 months old only. And in that time, he's already garnered a huge trust and love of people and a great understanding of the training concepts which allow people to have this wonderful interaction with them. Porch my quills are just modified hairs and they shed them just like any other animal of hair do. You just gotta be careful. If they lose too many quills, they become pointless. <laughs> so you guys know that I'm missing Drogo like you can't believe, so I get the opportunity to go in with, what'd you say, is Flash? This is Flash. This she is, is our latest two-toed sloth. Oh my goodness gracious, look at him. Oh yeah, is that some leaf litter from Missouri? That oh. is our monkey crunch biscuit, and boy oh. does he like it. It's actually really good. It tastes like a graham cracker, just a little drier, not quite as sweet. Don't <laughs> ask me how I know that. Yeah, I think I know how you know that. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Like I said, I, this this is so cool, man, but it does make me want to get home even more to go see my baby. I miss him so much, he is so cool. But Jay, of course, has been sending me photos and videos and all kinds of stuff, so I feel at least a little bit connected, but just being around another sloth just makes me happy. These guys are so crazy cool, and uh, 
I love them. I tell you what, that is, oh, Jay, this is awesome, huh? Dude, it's so great. It does make you miss Drogo, though. I can't I wait know, to see him again. I can't wait to get back to my baby. And you guys also know that I really am inspired about the Stingray thing. I want to do the swimming tanks. Now, I won't have the room that these guys have by any stretch for a Stingray tank, but I would love to add a Stingray tank. Uh, and uh, so let's jump in, interact with the Stingrays a little bit and get a feel for what it's gonna be like. I love them. So what we basically have here, we have some cow nose as well as bat Stingrays in here. So uh, you can see the differences with these guys, but you can see how absolutely amazing they are. Hey little guys, what's going on? Oh. All right, let's jump in. Nice and chilly. This is legitimately the coolest experience you can ever get. I mean, if we do something like this, I'll never get on the water. I mean, this is just, I mean, look at these things just swimming up to get hanging out with you. This is absolutely ridiculous. So it's interesting, again, all kinds of animals you can target train, and these guys are actually target training the shark. You can see the little target in there. The shark is gonna go up to it, and that's when it knows it's gonna get fed. So it's amazing that you can use that target training on so many different types of animals, even something as cool as sharks. All right, so this is kind of weird. I've never been in a mall after hours when it's closed. Uh, we're the only ones here. It's it, we're closed. This is kind of spooky. It kind of reminds me of that movie. Did you guys ever see that movie? Uh, what was the zombie movie? Resident Evil. Day of the Dead. Was it Day of the Dead or? No, it was, no, it was. With the mall, before time. No, oh my gosh, you guys are terrible. Pretty sure it was Blade of the Dead. No, no, I it was no, nope, nope. Uh, it was the uh, it was uh, it was uh. <laughs> Red Dead. <laughs> we watched it a million times, Noah. Grand Theft Auto on San Andreas. Oh, yes. Zombie Land. <laughs> Regardless, we're in a mall uh, and it's crazy to be here alone. So there it is. All right, that's it. I think I got nothing else to say. And how incredibly awesome was this to chop off a sequest? I was here about a year ago. I am absolutely happy that we came back. They made a lot of really good changes, gave me a lot of great ideas. If you're ever in an area where there's a sequest, I think there's 13 or 14 locations across the country, you definitely got to stop and show them some love because it is amazing. You will have an absolutely incredible time. And as always, I'll put links in the description to all of their stuff and so on like that. If you enjoyed this video, we've got lots more to come. Tomorrow is Yellowstone. I am so excited. Go ahead and do me a favor. Hit right over here the playlist. You can run through a whole bunch of my videos. Up on this side, you can subscribe to my podcast that will be back as soon as we are back home. On this side, I hope that you're subscribed to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody. Tomorrow we're in Yellowstone, and I'll see you then.